<laughs> I'm Nathaniel Wilsey here broadcasting at the New Science Laboratory, 600 Shaftesbury Boulevard. This is the second opportunity we have had to open and welcome people into this space. On September the 3rd, we had a variety of uh, government dignitaries, uh, some key donors, some student leaders here, and we celebrated a launch without countertops, without sinks. It was very much in process. So this one feels a little bit more complete as we spread our arms once more, a bit more broadly, at the beginning of a homecoming weekend. So thank you. And now you've also played a very significant role in making this lab possible one that I trust will more fully reflect for our students what a science or chemistry lab can be. So thank you very, very much, both of you. Here's a plaque that we will be posting, a CMU Science Laboratory, dedicated a little earlier, sponsored by the Burton Lee Family Foundation. So thank you very, very much. Just in the ring fun. It, it makes life so much easier for me, uh, to have the things that I need, you know, available on hand. Um, it's it's a little bit less MacGyverish. I don't get the, the creative fun of trying to figure out how to do a lab with, uh, you know, a couple of toothpicks and things like that. But uh, but it's great. First of all, it's fantastic. It's great. It's going to give us a whole lot of different opportunities to really enhance the variety of science that we can do here. First of all, there were those within CMU who felt the need that we needed to do more in sciences. Professors, students encouraging uh, a vision bigger than what we had. Secondly, uh, there, were, uh, there was the government, which uh, had a program which allowed us to apply for a grant for something like this, and they supported it. Thirdly, there were private donors. Uh, people who believe in CMU, uh, or as I sometimes say, they believe in CMU and even more in the students at CMU, that there is a leadership for the future. And fourthly, there were a lot of people who worked together in designing this, um, our current uh, biology prof, John Brubaker, and others who wanted this to happen, and they made it happen.